Yes. Good yes. afternoon. I would like to ask a question in regards to an issue which is quite prevalent amongst today's generation, that is depression. You're asking Bhavan Irani ji. Both of you. Now let me relax. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, kids yeah. nowadays, college students, school students, they spiral into depression quite easily due to reasons which may seem minute to elders and they commit suicide very easily as well. So what would be your message towards them and, and how can they overcome the spiral of depression? Thank you. Oh, Swamiji, I think you should ask. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about the physiology of the brain and the mind. There is a field developing called neuroplasticity which states that the way you repeatedly think affects the nature of your brain. The person who has come to the point of committing suicide has repeatedly brought a set of negative thoughts to mind and that has brought the mind to such a state where the person is thinking that I have now got no hope in life and death is better than life. So why did somebody reach that state? It was all the result of a Shakti, what we call Chintan or repeated contemplation. Now how do you prevent somebody from committing that act? You know there was a question about somebody terminally ill. There are so many things in life, so many reversals that you cannot avoid. To be and happy and positive doesn't mean that nobody in our family is dying. Correct. But to be happy means to accept the reality of life for what it is. Right? So you don't teach somebody to escape reality. You teach somebody to see the good. If you can explain to that person that you are miserable for three reasons, but you have a hundred reasons to be happy. I was taking a walk in the morning, I saw a tramp on the railing of a bridge. It was obvious that he is about to commit suicide. Oh boy. So I screamed, what are you doing? Uh, he hesitated. It said that in that moment if you hesitate, then you don't commit the act. So by the time I ran and he had jumped off and I said, what were you doing? He said, Ki Babuji, I wanted to end my life. I said, why? He said, I have got nothing in life. God has given me nothing. So I said, all right, I will arrange for 25 lakhs. He said, you will? I said, yes. But I will need two things in return. He said, what? I said, give me your two eyes. He said, no, I can't do that. I said, in that case, your eyes are more valuable than 25 lakhs. All right. Will you settle for 15 lakhs, but you'll have to give me your two legs? He was not interested, so I kept on putting value on his bodily parts and said, you've got more than one crore here. <laughs> and you're saying God has given me nothing. <laughs> Remind people of the blessings they have, and we all have more than a million reasons to be happy. I have to say that this morning has been a blessing to all of us. Thank you so much, Swamiji. Really, it has been a wonderful blessing. Thank you.